In this video, we're going to turn some motors. So let's look at these connections. Once again, using the Leadshide DM series wiring schematic for the centroid acorn. And what you're going to see is there's a 5 volt power supply that is providing the logic level inputs that tell the uh, the drive its pulses, its direction, and uh, enable it. So you have to be careful. Be very careful. You're, <clears throat> you're using two different voltages here. You're, there's the 24 volt power supply that powers the acorn. That 24 volt power supply is powering these inputs, but we're using a 5 volt power supply to control the drives. So you want to be very careful and make sure you follow this wiring diagram, the schematic, as closely as possible. Don't try to get creative, don't deviate, just do what is on this diagram and you'll be fine. Um, speaking from personal experience, I don't always follow the directions as closely as I should and I almost always pay the price by damaging things. So don't be like me. <laughs> Do it the right way. Follow the directions and everything will go will go well for you. So the first thing that we're going to look at here is the 5 volt power supply and let's look at the common connection. And if you trace this back, you'll see that the 5 volt common is coming back to this common on the acorn board. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. The 5 volt common is coming back to the common on the acorn board. Then the positive volts, positive 5 volts coming out of that power supply, what you're going to do is come up to your drives and you're going to you're going to power all the positive uh, inputs. So there's the positive pulse, positive direction, positive enable. You're going to feed 5 volt positive to each of those from your 5 volt power supply. Then what you're going to see is step direction enable 1, step direction enable 2. These are the connections that are going to actually control the, the drive. And you can see it's negative, right? So step 1 goes to pulse 1 on the drive, you know, direction two, direction minus, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm misspeaking. Step one, direction one, enable one, you get the idea. These are all the negative voltages that connect to the negative, the corresponding negative uh, terminals on your drive. And what I was getting at is uh, axis one is always going to be z-axis, number two is going to be your x-axis. So Number one is Z, number two is X. All right, so let's go look at this, how this translates into an actual connection. So there's our five volt power supply and the red and the black wire, you know, the red is five volt plus, the black is five volt minus. So let's look at the plus first. Actually, let's look at the minus first. The negative five volts is coming right over here Build it so it looks like the drawing. We're feeding into that common terminal just like it shows on the wiring diagram, the exact same terminal. Then the positive 5 volts, you can see what's going on here. We're coming in and we've kind of uh, strung together all the positive voltages. So everything labeled positive voltage we've tied all the 5 volts together. And we just jump from one to the other, and then we jump over here back to the other drive. And you can see how that's being done. So we've tied all the positive 5 volt connections together on the drives. Then we've come up here, and we'll look at, see we have step one, direction one, enable one. So that's yellow, blue, green. And you can see yellow, blue, green. So pulse minus, direction minus, enable minus, yellow, blue, green. And then we did the same thing 
here for number two. Step two, direction two, enable two. And hopefully you can see that. Yellow, blue, green. Pulse minus, direction minus, enable minus. So if we power this up, I actually have to pause the camera for a second. Let me plug this in and then we'll power this up. Okay, we have power. The Acorn has a, a nice, happy, healthy heartbeat going on. Our drives don't kick any alarms out. Everything's looking good here so far. So let's go over here and let's look at the CNC wizard screen. If we go to axis configuration, so as you remember, we set the Z-axis to 2,000 pulses per rev, the X-axis to 800, 5.08 for the Z, for the turns ratio, 25.4 for the X. Uh, I just made up these max velocities and everything. I, I just threw some bogus numbers in there. Uh, I remember from before I had to uh, reverse the direction of my Z-axis, so I have, I have a yes in there, but this is where you can use these uh, check boxes to reverse uh, ax axis direction if you need to. Right now, I don't have the home switches connected, so we're going to say simple home. And the only other thing, I like to set my X1 jog increment to 1 thou. And that should be it. So let's write those settings. Launch lathe. Let it reset its home position. And now, if you can, I don't know if you can see it, but the motors are spinning. So let me uh, throw something on there so you can see that. All right, I'm just running a little test program here, the pawn, and I'm doing that so we can see the motor spin. So there you have it. So now we have motors turning, getting closer. So if you follow the directions, just wire this thing up exactly the way the uh, schematic shows it, you'll be okay. All right, thanks for watching. We'll move on to the next step.